In just over a week, residents of Mississauga will choose their next mayor. The by-election itself falls on June 10th, but advanced voting opened on Friday, May 24th and 25th, and now continues today and tomorrow. The city's top spot left vacant by former mayor Bonnie Crombie after her bid to lead the Ontario Liberal Party, a position she's held since December. After the first round of advanced voting last weekend, city staff announcing a 42% increase in residents voting early compared to the first few days of advanced voting in the previous election. You have a lot of uh, subdivisions, you know, which are at the end of their life cycle in terms of sewers, paving, sidewalks. All of that to replace that is super expensive. Peter Grafe is an associate professor of political science with McMaster University. He says the ongoing challenge for elected officials is how Mississauga will reconcile its suburban roots with a quickly growing population, now over 800,000. I think uh, in many ways it's going to stay the course. Uh, I mean, Mississauga knows what its competitive advantage is. It can maybe offer slightly lower corporate taxes to firms who want to be in the uh, greater Toronto area. It's also really leveraged its proximity to the airport, and that's not going to go away. Meanwhile, mayoral candidate Councillor Stephen Dasko cast his vote in the by-election at the advance polls on Saturday at the Mississauga Senior Centre. Well, the challenges are certainly real. We've been facing a lot from an infrastructure point of view. We've been facing challenges uh, when it comes to uh, just how we're going to grow out as a city, be safe, and also be mindful of the taxpayer dollar. Any real themes that keep reoccurring in your conversations sure. with constituents? Yeah, people always look at a few of a few of the, the, the big ones, of course, and that's taxation. And at the same time, uh, safety is another one and being able to take on a leadership role when it comes to auto thefts, home break-ins. These are the types of things that uh, they can't wait for five, uh, five, ten years down the line. It has to get tackled right now. For me and this election, it's all about uh, inflation and taxes. Um, well, I just gave birth to my son two weeks ago, so I really want to make sure that there's a future for him, especially housing. I want to make sure there's lots of room for growth where families can grow. What is important for you right now in the Priorities city is just taking care of the city of Mississauga. It's overpopulated. I know that the rents are out of control. I hope that they try to save money and do a good job. Helping for the special needs in the area as well. Also unique to the city, for its size, it's young, barely more than 50 years old. As a town, Mississauga only had two mayors, and since becoming a city, just four. The longest serving mayor was Bonnie Crombie's predecessor, Hazel McCallion, also known as Hurricane Hazel. She was elected in 78 and served for 36 years. At Square One, David Zura, City News.